Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in Siemens NX. In this tutorial, we are going to model this component using Siemens NX. While modeling this component, always start with the material addition feature, then do the material removal feature. While modeling this component, I will start with this plate with a thickness of 12 mm, then I will model this plate with thickness of 10 mm, then I will go with this cylinder. Then I will create this rib with the thickness of 10 mm. After modeling these things, I will go with couple of rounds here, 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 here. Then do this holes. These two holes with a diameter of 10 and this hole has a diameter of 25. After modeling this component in NX, it will look like this. This is the component. These are the steps I have followed. Now we will see how to model this component step by step. First go to the file, new. Here we have to choose the model and unit template which is a millimeter. Then choose the location as this one and provide the file name. Any name we can provide. I am just giving some name. Just save ok. Now we are in the software. For easy modeling in NX, to see the dimension also, I am just keeping this off the right side and keeping this model in the left side. Here we can see the dimensions very easily. Now we will start with this plate. So go to the sketch. Here we change this into your on plane. And I am choosing a right plane. Just say OK. Now, just take the rectangle, I am just starting with the rectangle, which is a corner rectangle. I am just randomly putting a rectangle, press the roller to confirm. Now, you just want to specify the dimension to this rectangle. For specifying the dimension, you need to go with the rapid dimension. Right? Automatically, it has the dimension. Just click this one, just specify the dimension, which is 80. Here, do you want to scale the entire sketch? No. Press the roller to confirm. Again, click this one. Specify the dimension as 80. Press enter. Press the roller to confirm. Now, still it is not fully con constrained. Here you can see. Just make the sketch symmetric to this axis. Click this one. This one this is symmetric. Click this point. Click this point. Click this axis. Just say OK. Now, here you can see the sketch is fully defined. Then go with the finish sketch. Extrude. It is automatically selected the sketch. Now see the extrusion thickness is 12. Make it symmetric and this thickness is 12. Press enter and OK. Now we have created this plate. Hide the sketch then it will be easy to see. Now then we will model this sketch, this plate. For that just rotate your object like this by pressing the roller. Then go to the sketch. Select the surface, just say OK. Now it is oriented to the length of 80. Then take the rectangle, just put the rectangle. Here it is not selecting the model, just go here. Now you can see it is selecting the edges. Now press the roller to confirm. Now we need to specify the dimension. Here you can see. From this point to the center of this cylinder is 65. From here to here it is radius is 30. The total length is 95. So for that, just click it here. Here you can specify 65 plus 30 also. It will automatically calculate. Just press enter. Do you want expressions? It asking. No, I don't want expressions. Press the roller to confirm. Then we just want to specify this width. This width is 60. 60. Press in roller to confirm. Now we need to specify one more dimension which is uh, from here to here. Total is 60. The, this total is 80. Then it is mid. -down. So here it is 10. Select this line. Then select this axis. You will get the dimension. Here you just specify the value of 10. Press the roller to confirm. Now here you can see the sketch is automatically fully defined. 
go to the finish sketch, rotate your object, then go to extrude, change the direction. Here the thickness of this plate is 10 mm. Specify 10, press enter, just say OK. Then hide the sketch. Now here you can see, now we have created this plate and this plate. Now we just want to create this cylinder. Just select this, go to the sketch, select the surface. This one, we keep it somewhere here. No issues, just say OK. Now, to make this cylinder center to the 60 mm, we can go with the different options. Here I am going to go with the center line, by creating a center line. Here choose entire assembly. You will get the midpoint here. See, just put a vertical line. Specify this dimension somewhere 150. This is any dimension we can give. And make it this as a construction line. I have created this axis. Then go with the circle. Put a circle here. The circle with the diameter here you can see it has a 40. Click here. You will get the dimension. Specify the dimension of 40. Press the roller to confirm. Then the center distance is 30 mm from the top. Then move the cursor to the edge of the circle. You will get the center point. Click it here. And here you choose entire assembly. Then click this one. You will get the dimension. Double click this one. This one is 30. Press the roller to confirm. Here you can see the sketch is fully defined. Finish sketch. Extrude. The total extrusion height is 30 mm. Just specify the 30. Just say OK. Add this sketch also. Now we have created these two plates and this one. Now we will go with the rib. To create a rib in the mid plane, go to the sketch. Here you can see the front plane is mid plane of the cylinder. Select this front plane. Just say OK. Now it came properly. Now we just want to create an arc here. The single arc itself it will provide a rib. To create this arc, we need to provide this sketch. Just start with this point. Here, here, here. Press the roller to confirm and press the roller to confirm again. Okay? Now specify the dimension which is 7. This is 70, double click, this is 70 and this one is the 45, press the roller to confirm and this height is 30, press the roller to confirm. Now put the arc here, to make an arc just go with the arc, there are different options for the arc, I am going, I'm going to take this 3 point arc, so first select this point, select this point. Just put the arc like this. Just press the roller to confirm. Now we need to specify the arc radius. Just click it here. We will get the radius. Double click this value. The radius of the arc is 50. Press the roller to confirm. Then make sure you are in the tangent connection. Just click this tangent. This arc and this line should be. Cancel, just undo, it is properly connected, so just finish the sketch, just go to the edit parameter, now just make sure you have only one arc in the sketch, so just select this one, make it construction, this also just make it construction, this also make it construction, to create the rib, you only require this line. Just finish the sketch. Then go to the rib. Select this line. Here you can see it, it, it is automatically creating the rib. So the rib and adding material here also. The thickness of this rib is 10 mm. Just say OK. Now we have created this rib. Then you just go with the couple of round that means edge blend 
take this edge blend here it has round off radius of 30 select this edge and rotate and select this edge the radius is 30 just apply then here we just want to make with the radius of 20 then select this edge and select this edge the radius is 20 just apply then here we just want to make a round select this one and select this one it has a radius of 15 enter just say ok then we just want to make a, some small rounds here for that go to edge blend again select this one this one and this one just select these three edges just provide some two so two is enough just say ok the radius is two now we will create these two holes to create these two holes just go to the hole to place the hole in the center of this arc just play just move your cursor and play over this edge you will get the hole will be placed to the center of the arc similarly here now we need to specify the diameter of this hole which is 10 and normal to the face throw the body just say okay. similarly we just want to pull a, put a hole here just take the hole just rotate place it on the edge you will get the hole at the center the diameter of the hole is 25 throw the body subtract just say ok hide this sketch now we have completed the complete model just have a look once is there any features are missing all the features are we have created in this way we can create this component if you like this video please share to your friends for more videos please subscribe my channel in next tutorial we will come up with a new component thank you for watching my videos thank you